What do you, and that's another thing I like to think about is, you know, here you are, you're this guy that gives advice, right? You, you know, managing expectations when you are off work, when it's either family time, social settings, how difficult that is, that is to turn it off. And also, you know, hmm. maybe some, do people think, you know, oh, he's, I don't want to talk about, he's always going to judge me or anything like that. You know, was that something you had to deal with? Kind of that, you know, you either had to just totally turn it off. And I'm sure there's definitely that for, you know, family time, which I think that's with anybody with work. But um, yeah, just social settings, right? Where if money does come up and it's like, oh, well, here's the big financial guy coming in, to, you mm -hmm. know, leaning on this. Was there a lot of prejudgment with that and stuff like that? Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's like a, it's a spectrum for sure. Like you, you learn how to cope over time and you also build systems and processes to help with that. Like yeah. you know, any, anybody who's interacted with me professionally knows you never get an email back from me after about five thirty five forty five PM, no matter what. Yeah. And that's because my email is turned off on my phone, like literally off. Mm -hmm. So I don't get notifications and my laptop gets closed at those times. So like, there are mm -hmm. certain like boundaries you just have to draw because people will want your time yeah. at all times. And why wouldn't they, right? You've offered it. You're right. working with them as a consultant. Sure. So there's that side of it where you like, you just have to create like hard boundaries. Mm -hmm. Otherwise it will take, you know, the more successful and busy you become, the more it'll take over yeah. your life, of course, not unlike anything else. But then mm -hmm. the more casual side of that is as your reputation grows and people begin to start know, knowing you as... Yeah. Oh, that's right. That dweeb we knew, you know, when he was <laughs> 21 or 22 is still talking about that stupid stuff. Right. And actually they're doing, yeah. actually they're doing really well. Maybe I should go ask him about my 401k, you know, at the dinner party, right. <laughs> yeah, Which right, definitely yeah. happens. And I don't, it's, it's great when it, when it mm -hmm. does, I'm, I'm not going to downplay it, but here's the, here's the thing is a good financial planner is not someone who does financial planning or does investing, it's someone who is a financial planner or an investor. You notice okay. the difference between the way I said those, right? Sure. It's not something you do, it's something you are. Mm -hmm. And so you can't turn that off because yeah. it's ingrained in yeah. your personhood, so to speak. Mm -hmm. And so, and I get, it's funny because Brie will like, that's my wife. She'll like, look at me from across the room and she'll be like, oh my God, like you're doing it right now. We're here at this party and mm -hmm. you are down in <laughs> 17 layers deep with somebody about their 401k plan. Right, but I can't, yeah. but I can't help it because I actually am yeah. genuinely interested in that thing going well for that person. Mm -hmm. And once we reach the limit of where like, opinions are starting to drift into professional advice, which there's, there's a fine line between I mean, financial opinions are a dime a dozen, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Financial advice should come with actual time and discipline and consulting and information and all the stuff we would do. Like when I feel it's drifting into this person is now going to consider implementing ideas based on this conversation, we're having mm -hmm. two whiskeys deep at a, <laughs> yeah. you know, at a dinner yeah. party. It's like, okay, this needs to, this needs to stop now. And if they want to continue the conversation in a meaningful way, it needs to happen in a professional mm -hmm. environment. Otherwise mm -hmm. they could take something that gets said casually or as a joke or to be funny or even well meant and totally mess it up on sure. the implementation side of things, which we want to avoid that of course. So that's right. It, so it's colliding all over the place. Of course it is. <laughs> and the, the, the more seasoned you become, the more people know that just like, like mm -hmm. my brother-in-law is great at tinkering on cars. So guess who the first person I always go to if I have a question about a car, because I know yeah. for 20 years I've known that. Right. Right. So it's just this similar concept. I, yeah, I knew it was going to be most of that just because even as an electrician, right. You say your brother's good at tinkering on cars. Oh, yeah. A minimum half the times I get introduced somebody new and, you know, they ask you what you do or, Hey, this is my friend, Steven, and he's an electrician at least half the time. Somebody goes, Oh, you're an electrician. You know, I actually had every, t I mean, at oh, least yeah. half the times, so. you know, the outlet in my bathroom, I splash 100%. water. It doesn't work anymore. Do you know what? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. 
I put forks in all my receptacles, and for some reason, I just it's, nothing's working. Yeah, no, <laughs> for real. If you enjoyed this content, be sure to check out the Standing Still podcast, both here on YouTube and wherever else you listen to podcasts.